Hello, I'm Dr. Nizkoto. Welcome back to AZH for another edition of the Wound Care Window. An interesting uh, clinical teaching point we'd like to share with you in this episode of the Wound Care Window. I had a patient who was referred to me with a plantar ulcer with the first toe. Uh, he is a diabetic. And uh, we know uh, a lot about the management of this ulcer. But what we should also be thinking about when we see a patient with a diabetic foot ulcer is what is the blood flow? Now, if you palpate his pulses, I can feel a fairly strong pulse there in both the dorsal pedis as well as the posterior tibial pulse uh, sites. Question is, is that adequate? A lot of people would stop there and say, hey, I can feel the pulse. Actually, he's palpable here. Let's go one step further and let's actually uh, put a Doppler. <clears throat> let's listen to that. Is there a Doppler signal? And in fact, there is a Doppler signal. So many would stop right there and say, that's adequate. However, we sh should realize then in diabetics, especially patients that are diabetic on dialysis, that you can be fooled very easily by the palpation of a pulse or the sound of a Doppler signal. So a real quick bedside test is to actually take and do a, what we call a poor man's ABI. We already have the blood pressure in his upper extremity. John, what was his upper extremity blood pressure? 110 over... 110 65. systolic, 110 over 65. We're going to take the blood pressure in this leg, and I'm going to use my Doppler. It's easier than palpating. Turn this on. Listen to the signal. So we'll get the Doppler signal. We'll put the cuff on start inflating. Now, expectation would be that that pulse signal disappears around 110. But look what happens, 120. 140, 160, 180, 200, 210, and we're still getting a doppler signal. What does that suggest to us? That this patient is non-compressible. <clears throat> and in fact, we know from the literature that patients with diabetes that have peripheral arterial disease, many will have a palpable pulse. There was a publication in Family Medicine, 2000, January 2006, by Dr. Collins. Uh, the title of that article, An Absent Pulse is Not Sensitive for the Early Detection of Peripheral Arterial Disease. We know that this study showed that more than two-thirds of the patient in the study group had evidence of PAD also had a palpable pulse. So don't stop when you feel a pulse. Look further, think further. These patients will often have occult peripheral arterial disease. Thanks for joining us on this edition of the Wound Care Window.